I'm Anupa Nyanakan recording this video for India Didactics Association. Something I read a few days ago, this pandemic is teaching us that we just can't go back to normal because normal wasn't working for us. We need a society that values people over profits and a political system not influenced by corporate agenda. The way I look at it, I think this is the beginning of a new chapter, maybe even a new story. When I look back, things were not right at all. Our society was crumbling, our education system was adding stress to students' lives, families were disintegrating, and we were all getting greedier for more. This pandemic struck at the right time, just when things were getting out of hand, to set everything right again. And today, there is peace. There is quiet. We have gone back to the slow pace of life again. Families are forced to stay indoors and spend time with one another. There is no more shopping and eating out unnecessarily. People are helping one another, especially the old people and poor families. And schools are finally <coughs> finding the need to change their ways and adopt to the current situation. Most big companies, industries, small businesses and educational institutions are not sure when the new normal will come. Everyone is only finding ways to cope and survive. Social distancing has changed everything beyond recognition. Church has gone online. We're depending on the internet for everything. We're actually thinking before buying anything. We're finding ways other than using gadgets and devices to keep our children busy. We're doing more together as a family. This social distancing is helping us find ways to create social connectedness. And while most of us are in our happy little bubbles, let us not forget those who are struggling with the feeling of isolation, uncertainty, and the complete disruption of life. The children and adults with special needs and mental health issues who are trying to cope with the current situation. The fear of the virus that everyone faces when we start imagining symptoms and the people who are dying or just affected with this virus. Are things ever going to go back to what we thought was normal? Or is this the new normal? For people like you and me, who are fortunate to have family, a roof over our heads, and more than three meals a day on our table during these difficult times, I believe that it is up to us to reflect on this, to change our attitudes and ways of thinking, change our habits, change our mindsets, and to learn from this situation that we have been forced into and carry forward what we learn. Let us grab this amazing opportunity that we have to rise above this situation and start making plans for the new normal that is just around the corner. Let us fight against going back to what we thought was normal. Let's use this time that we have on our hands to try something new, to dream new dreams, to go back to forgotten hobbies, to read and broaden our perspective, to write down our thoughts and to get fit and healthy again, to find out what teenagers go through so that we can help them better. With the new normal coming up, we have no idea whether we will get this much time on our hands again. So let's use this time to build up healthy habits because with a healthy mind and a healthy body, you can achieve great things. Stay positive, stay safe and stay healthy.